Junkin' pool over here at two. So how's everybody doing? Ouch. Well, we got this one over here at two. Went and uh, pulled the wheels off and freed up all the brakes. He was going to pull it and got ready to pull it. Of course, there ain't no brakes, but well, there is brakes. They just don't work. Somebody had a trailer hitch on this. Or um, trailer brake a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, we got it over here. Yeah, the brake was froze up. And went to moving it. And I'm thinking, that wheel don't feel right. So we got a broken uh, tie rod on it. So we had to trailer it. Which was no biggie. Get my leg over it. There. I think I'm trying to get it close enough just so I can move it around right there. And I'm just going to, it's not actually the tie rod, it's broken. It's a little sleeve thing that goes around there, rusted in half. I think that's bent there. I'm going to look at the other one, but I don't think I can actually get inside this one. I think this is supposed to have 23,000. Whether they're actually or not, who knows. This one's the four door. Some Bondo in here. I was jacking it up underneath here. And it was actually pretty solid. I might have dented it a little bit, but it was in some mud. And bumper's a little rough. These are all missing. I thought they were on there, but maybe not. I got a couple of lights I can use. I don't think they're the... This is the 1960 from what I gather. But I think they're actually different lights. Got to have a project for winter, right? This is supposed to be a 63. A little cool in here, my light didn't come on. If I get some heat in there, I'll probably light right up. If I had to rob the tires off of this to put onto that one, I got some tires. I, I went up with four new tires off a car I bought a couple years ago, just a junker, it got scrapped. But yeah, that's got the M1 emblem. We had to move the knuckle boom truck crane project over there. So I figure when I pull that off, it's going to come back here far enough where I can get under there with a piece of angle and just, just uh, temporarily tie into that tie rod so I can move it around and I can reach it with a welder. That's got Bondo on it, but it's pretty solid. So we got to figure this out. Now i got to get this pin out. With the engine in the, the rear of these, I'm probably not going to be able to do a video of me unloading this. Because what I'm going to have to do is come over here with the skid steer and push down on this corner and take that pit, hammer that pin out. That pin's got tension on it right now. So I got to fire up the skid steer, come over here, push down on that, knock that pin out, and then just hopefully roll it off. That wheel kind of goes on its own. It's got a mind of its own. So we're going to start them up and get them running, see which ones run and which ones don't. I got some headlights here. I'm going to cut back on Debbie's expense because she's got to pay all the labor. 
and I work pretty slow. She said, I'm going to be charging you for the meals. Oh, I never better not say that. We'll do a better, better video. It's got some dings in this door. That muffler's something I was going to cut off. Actually, the exhaust looks pretty good under there. The rest of it, other than that, from what I can see. So, there's another part one that's missing the axles. I'm not sure what all it's missing. That was part of the deal. I'm going to put that on the flatbed trailer and put a couple of planks under it and just park that off to the side and see what we need. I don't think that's stock. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by too. I just thought I'd do a quick video of this on the old trailer. We'll have this off and... Probably move the trailer someplace else, or maybe leave the trailer right there for now. Have a good day. Find a project. Winter's coming. Goodbye.